Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking. We got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the money manifestation deck, the things to see, to see what you are working on, to see what you need to be working with, working with. I said that twice. Uh, that was the matrix. Uh, to be working on, to be, you know, focusing on, or the keys, or also um, timing uh, with this deck. And so let's see what comes out. We have debt. Oh, laziness. Ooh, ooh. And destiny. So the universe is calling you out. Retreat. Now, this did come in the reading that I did last, but envision is here i'll read this one first because i like this card deck and that's the reason why i'm putting it in there it says money man manifestation but if you are blocked when it comes to certain energies or certain situations then you need to understand why you have to pull back your energy in order to work on yourself which is a part of manifesting money which is a part of feeling away and understanding where you are in this present moment so it says do you know exactly what you want and are you acting cons uh, con consistently towards achieving it? Maintain a clear vision of what you are calling forth and you will be unstoppable. So that is at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the bottom of the deck, shall I say, you will be unstoppable if you just know exactly what you, what you want and you are able to maintain it. Sorry, I'm moving all of this stuff over here because I keep putting it back here behind me and I need to have access to it so we have retreat here sometimes taking a break is the best thing you can do to gain clarity and a fresh perspective so you've uh, went into hermit mode which is soul searching to try to figure out when it comes to debt your laziness what's keeping you what's keeping you stagnant was basically what laziness is and what is your destiny so you're questioning a lot uh, when it comes to your finances it says which is the time that's why the time is there and that you have you have the key. The key isn't here, but the lock is here. And the metamorphosis, the butterfly is here. Um, it's kind of how I see that. It says, are you in the driver's seat with your debt or has your debt taken over and placed you in shackles? So you need to ask yourself these questions. And if so, is it because of a situation of what you're not doing, the stagnation of what's happening? It says your dreams are so much bigger than your efforts to achieve them. If you want to accomplish great things, you'll have to try harder. So you have to try harder when it comes to reaching your destiny or um, taking time out for trying to envision the things that you want uh, in regards to your destiny. So again, it says know exactly what you want. This is envision, which is the key. Again, uh, know exactly what you want and are you acting consistently towards achieving it? It says maintain a clear vision of what you are calling forth and you will uh, be unstoppable. So destiny is here. You have a divine destiny to fulfill your career path. You, Your work will help elevate and elevate the consciousness of this planet and so you have you have a whole lot riding for you when it comes to that and that might be pressure uh when it comes to you making decisions on what it is that you need to do so this is to me an empath uh energy of or empath deck when it comes to what it is that you're doing hold on my grandbaby is talking to her dad hold on one second okay she was being really loud and so i was just trying to make sure um she was okay so anyway this is, to me, an empath deck or the universe actually sending messages to you. That's how I feel about this deck, and that's the reason why I keep pulling from it. It says, you are exactly as, exactly as you are, exactly as you are, and the key, again, I told you about the key, which it says envision, which is underneath the bottom of the deck, which is right here, where it says you need, you do you know exactly what you want? The key is here at the bottom of the deck, and it says, all, all you do with... All you do with ease and enthusiasm is a path to your goals. Actions are secondary. Make the energy within your primary focus. Make the energy within your primary focus. Do not underestimate the little joys. So in the process of you going within, you have the key, the little small things when it comes to what you want to do. Um, it says you will get there, right? And it says you can't force flowers to grow on, on plants or plants to sprout be patient and respect that everything happens in its own way and time so understand you are exactly where you need to be 
Um, this is to me the force and ET, okay, and, and aliens. All right, here you go. The one who is always dissatisfied with the present moment will never have a better future. Give yourself permission to feel content right here and right now. Right here, right now is what it says. But you are exactly where you need to be. You have the key to be able to set yourself free. But again, you will get there, but you cannot rush. A lot of people want to rush the process. And a lot of people want to act like they have everything and on uh, and have the answers to everything. They are the key to solving all of your problems the, uh, or you're the key to solving everybody's problem. But, you know, people in the process of them accepting your, your um, energy, I'm going to say energy and I'm going to say, um, support, they are knocking you down and making you feel like what you're doing isn't enough, but you know, it's not enough because you know that you're giving your time and energy to other people in situations. And, um, to me, this is like the universe is telling you, you know, we're going to bring you what you want, but you know, you have to be content with the present moment. And that's the reason why I do my reads is because you know, the fear, excuse me, the past causes fear and the future causes anxiety, but the present moment is where we need to be. We often spend time going backwards and looking at what somebody put us through, how we, how long we spent, what we had to do to get to where we are. And that is a badge of honor for us because we've been through a lot, but we dwell in that past energy. And then we get stagnant because we start to feel like, I can't believe this person went the way that they did left or did this or did that because I've been too good to this person, place, thing, or situation. And here it is. You have to understand that you did, and this person came into your life for a reason. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And that lesson is to understand that you can't be caught off guard and let them uh, ruin your energy because you're where you need to be and you are the key to being successful and to getting out of this funk nobody else can be and that's the reason why you have to just really take things with a grain of salt especially when it comes to people who are going to always think that you're not enough unless you're doing what they want you to do not what what you really want you what you really want to do and so this is an empath telepathy oracle that I always pull up uh, from yeah openness and so be open to receive divine guidance and relationships and it says feelings uh, take the time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing so you are the key and again don't underestimate the little joys in life the way you feel and the things the synchronicities the signs that the universe is giving you when it comes to either them tell you know the universe saying that again the universe right the the aliens or whatever you want to call it you know, letting you know that you're where you need to be. But don't underestimate those signs and synchronicities because you'll get there soon. And the synchronicity says divine soul matches have amazing moments of synch synchrony. And so the thing is, is that don't rush where you need to be. The envision, what you envision and how you want things to be is because of the things that you went through. But again, you cannot let things be stagnant just because you went through something and you're not sure how to get through it. You have to live in the present moment and not and stop having anxiety in regards to uh, the past energies and how somebody put you through a certain situation and how you didn't get through it or how. Yeah. When somebody got caught, the red handed energies, the secrets exposed and, um, you know, you being surprised and so shocked about somebody's new love options or um, you being back on the market or somebody else being back on the market, your feelings in regards to certain situations because you knew that this energy was toxic. You knew it was toxic. You knew that it was drama. You knew it was like an addiction, a codependent energy. It was a love-hate relationship. So it was like damned if you do, damned if you don't. And that's where the synchronicities and the signs come in at. And just letting you know that if this is a love situation, you'll get there soon. You'll be able to have your like kind. You'll be able to have the person that makes you feel good. You'll be able to have those new love options and be back on the market um, but, again, you have to understand that, yeah, out with the old, in with the new, and it says diligent. Focus, vision, and breakthroughs. Yeah, when it comes to, yeah, yeah, love, joy, and surprises, but just an assignment, procedures, and value. You need to understand that the love and the joy and the surprises will come to you uh, with within divine timing, not when you expect it to be. You are where you are. You're learning from the things. You have to focus and work on yourself. The old candle light and the old flame. This could be an old flame. Um, and you knowing that you had a breakthrough 
this is unsure energy, though, uh, of the visions. Not sure if you're going to have a breakthrough or be able to focus on just you. You are still trying to light a new, an old flame. And justice here again, the assignment. The assignment is for you to know, live in the present moment, be open to receive, and know that you seen the red flags. You were able to see what it is. Don't be sad. Your feelings and your emotions are valid, but you are the key to moving forward. Nobody else can be. And so that's kind of how I see that energy what the way it comes out you have to be able to stop trying to light the old flames and move forward with the way that you feel and knowing that the old flames caught you know were caught red-handed and that you're tired of the drama and also yeah again toxic this was toxic energy when it came to yeah your addictions codependent energies you could have been addicted to this love to this situationship you could have been you know um every time this person comes around you it's like a toxic energy but it's like mesmerizing it's lower uh am i saying that right luring luring it's luring you to make to to be in a situation that you know you just feel like it's just so good it's too good to be true like you'll never be able to find anything and again it's the same type of energy that's here you know you feel like it'll never happen again these feelings but this is toxicity you see what I'm saying? This is the bottom of both of the decks. Toxic love, toxic, uh, of the toxic love and doing drugs, addictions, and toxicity when it comes to love is what you've been going through. And you have to pay attention to the signs because underneath that, it says a love story once upon a time. If you just give it time and wait um, and live in the present moment and learn to get out of this energy where you're fixing yourself, where nobody can hold over your head what it is that they feel like you need to do or um, that you're not doing enough. You, you're going to get out of that situation to where you're going to be ready for whatever the new love that comes into your life, you know? And that's where this energy comes in at. It's love, joy, and then it also is dating. When you start dating, you're not going to bring any of that toxicity, but you're going to recognize it when it comes uh, to the forefront. You're going to see the red flags, and you're going to know what it is, and you're going to know how to focus even though you feel like you're in a situation to where love is in the air, but you're not going to let that love get you sidetracked, or you're not going to let that love put you uh or get you um back or take you backwards you know it's only i gotta scoot up it's only gonna bring you forward or you know yeah exactly so endings new beginnings exactly liberations reborn transition and tragic endings so tragic endings is not necessarily you know death it's a new so uh the death card says death isn't the excuse me embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. So this twin flame energy, uh, duality, complete, uh, complement, and polar opposites, and yin and yang, and balance. If there's no balance in the situation, you're looking at this twin flame type energy like, eh, nah. You know, you start to reminisce about things. You make the memories and learning from your past. Uh, and the perspective or the perception that you have from the past is because you're mirroring each other. But the reflection and the introspection and the inner wounds, you got, you need to heal for yourself and keep asking yourself, why is it that I keep picking up these toxic energies? And that's where you're realizing that you keep mirroring either this lifetime, last lifetime, or whatever. In this situation, it's a round around situation to where there is no breakthroughs here because you're not trying to do the due diligence of moving forward. You're just trying to figure out what it is that you did wrong in order for this situation not to uh, come to what you did wrong in order for the situation to come to an end. But why you feel the way you do and why this person has this much hold uh, uh, of a hold on you, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see this energy. But right now, you just have to be in the present moment and know that you can't keep lighting the old candles, you know, um, if you listen to the game of life, yeah, Ace of Cups energy, unsure energy. If you listen to the game of life and how to play it, new relationships, love, or actually practicing self-love and, and and not, you know, trusting in your intuition or being afraid to trust into your intuition or the emotions, you know, that you have deep down, not being, you know, not being, um, what is it? Not being, um, afraid not being afraid to express yourself you know because you have all these emotions emotions that have been pushed down from this old flame right old twin flame right uh, okay so this is a flame it's just a different type and it's a fed 
you know, a dedication to an old flame, memories from an old flame, the history of an old flame, you're afraid that the repressed emotions um, and that what you're reminiscing, the things that you learned is going to transition to something new. And, you know, instead of you moving forward, you're going to keep mirroring this energy. So, you know, you're scared to move forward. You're just staying exactly where you are. This card looks like. Um, it came in reverse. Yep. Um, the, the eight of swords energy. Yeah. And instead of overthinking, you know, eight of swords energy, you're just, you just have to get out of the situation to where, you know, you stop setting the limiting, the, the limiting beliefs, uh, or, um, you know, criticizing yourself and see things from a new perspective. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. You have to look at things from a new perspective and grow uh, from the past energies. And that's when you grow, you learn to live in the present moment. And also the realization is there. Growth comes when you understand that a relationship, a situation ship is about creativity. It's about compassion. It's about new relationships. It's about love. It's not about making you feel like it's drama there. It's not about somebody uh, being exposed, caught red handed, you know, or you not being able to trust and to be insecure about somebody else's energies or whatever, and reminiscing about more so more bad times than good times. So you have to get be able to get out of that situation where your communication on anything new in life is you communicating about love, about wealth, happy life, happy wife, because you're going to learn to speak your mind and um, deal with your feelings right then and there instead of keep repeating the toxic cycles over and over again and keep reliving and relighting the old flames and reminiscing about I remember when I first met this person I saw the potential I still see the potential because that keeps pulling you back every time I try to leave something keeps pulling me back me back and that's the thing and that's the toxicity uh chingy the toxicity and why you keep you know, focusing on the wrong things instead of focusing on the lessons that you had to learn and being open to receive and understand that relationships are there to teach you a lesson. And some of them are toxic, but some of them make you have to pull your energy back, rest and relaxation, the four swords energy. It makes you pull your energy back and be able to contemplate what it is in order for you to get out of the situation and recuperate from the past energies. Because again, temperance, having balance, uh, when it comes to the Page of Wands energy, having balance and living in the present moment. Pre Page of Wands says yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. And that is why you have to end the things that no longer serve you. The death energy, right? Death energy is death. It says embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the, um, excuse me. Embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. Again, this is why you have to get to a point to where you're renewing your faith within yourself and setting boundaries, the nine uh, wands energy. You're setting boundaries within uh, your yourself and with old situations, and you're not having old conversations. You're not worried about the past. You're living in the present moment, and that's the having balance. That's why you're having balance that you need to have because, again, the, bur the boundaries that you set moving forward is how you communicate and how you see the differences when it comes to what you envision and what you think that love should be and how you feel that love should be. And that's kind of how I see that. So you are exactly where you need to be. And so you need to be open with anybody moving forward. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you what the bottom, what's underneath the bottom of the deck, what was underneath here to be able to show you what it is. So the twin flame endings it's like you're not worried about the twin flame and their endings what you're worried about is how you can have balance within yourself and be able to be okay with walking away from the things that no longer serve you if that makes sense and so let me go ahead and pull uh these cards up but it all comes with you understanding you know are you in the driver's seat and why it is that you have to fulfill your own destinies and not worried about worry about anybody else's so let me go ahead and put this up here so I want you to be able to see what it is that I see and why you have to set boundaries and be able to communicate uh it, the way you feel and not just keep mirroring or um you know uh keep keeping the inner wounds going without expressing yourself and you know that's just just it's hella crazy that's just what it is that you need to do it's focusing on your values and what toxicities come into your life and that's just 
how I see that. And the synchronicities come when you don't really get it. And the universe has to tell you, stop rushing things. Things will happen the way you're supposed to and the way you envision them. Oh, wow, that's crazy. You'll get there soon. Stop rushing things. The way that you envision things, the way that you want things to happen, you'll envision, you'll, you'll get them. You just have to know. It says, do, do you know exactly what you want and are you acting consistently towards achieving it? Maintain a clear vision of what you are calling forth and you will be unstoppable. So again, this is the procedures that you have to go through in order for you to go after your values. What are your values? Ask yourself that. What are your values? How do you feel? You know, do you have the key in order to be strong enough to end things that no longer serve you? Are you going to be able to communicate these things? Are you going to still feel insecure based upon somebody's actions when you find this new love, this new opportunity? These are the things that you have to ask yourself when it comes to move, being able to say that I can move forward out of this toxic energies, if that makes sense. And so Again, you'll keep repeating the same energy over. I'm going to pull from the toxic, and I shouldn't be pulling it right now. I should move this out. But again, I'm going to pull to see what the key energies are of you being in a toxic, codependent, um, twin flame karmic situation, you know, soulmate situation. So you have to understand this card is trying to fall out right there. You have to understand that that's what happens. Yeah, when you chart compatibility, yeah. If you haven't checked their chart excuse me, if you haven't checked their chart already, uh, could be your charts align perfectly or learning more about them uh, could help you in your relationship. So this is why it's certain situations that you have to be able to look uh, look at beforehand and know uh, if this is a lost cause or a lost case. It says you experience so much pain and you're struggling to see the purpose or the point of this of the relationship. Perhaps it's time to let go and begin to heal. And that's where you have to learn to really kind of accept what it is that you need in regards to what you're compatible with. And if this situation is toxic in the beginning and this person isn't ready to communicate or even to understand that they need to heal their inner wounds just as well as you do, then this is not going to go anywhere. But eventually you'll get there when you start looking at the signs and synchronicities of this situation and be able to realize what toxicity is to you. And that is where it comes to a situation to where your feelings, you are the key. You have the key to make things work. But again, you just keep turning around and, you know, reliving the same type of energy. And that's toxicity. That's codependent energies. Instead of you just, just recognizing your values and your morals and understanding where you, where you, how you feel at this present time if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see this energy uh, of that, uh, the card that, yeah. And so again, apology, forgiveness, return, and sorry. Somebody will be sorry down the line, but you can't wait for somebody to say that. You have to dif dis distance yourself and separate, get some space and understand that this is causing you blockages because you are feeling like you're not enough when it comes to the inner wounds or the codependency of, or move, being able to move forward. And you're just like, again, you're not ready for that. So you have to recognize your values and why you have to distance yourself from certain situations and certain human beings or certain, you know, jobs or whatever. You're not compatible with it. And that's just something that you have to be um, open to really kind of understand when it comes to love and when it comes to relationships. So this is, hmm, I don't know the name of this deck. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But, yeah, this is something about love. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It says cheating and intimacy and bonding. So you, have, you, you get to know the difference between that. So it says broken trust and being able to bond. You'll get to know the difference between those and if it's toxic or not. And it says regrets and mistakes. So not only are they apologizing because they realize that they are compatible with you, they're apologizing because, again, um, they have regrets and you were their peace, but is it too late? And they have, they broken your trust, but that's when the universe says, I understand where you are in this present moment. Don't, you know, bond with a situation because of the intimacy. Uh, because if the broken trust is the trust, what isn't there and it's toxic and it's a love hate relationship, it's a lot more and, and no peace. There's a lot more that you have to face when it comes to dealing with these certain situations, if that makes sense. And so no, no need to live in regret 
or to for somebody, you know, they can apologize and move forward. But this could be a lost case when it comes to or a lost cause when it comes to the toxicity. So this is what you need to ask yourself um, and move forward. And it's easier said than done. But you have to be the one to be a big, big person. I was gonna say a big girl, big girl, a boy, and to be able to evolve from that situation. I'm gonna pull from the evolution of the soul. Then we're gonna pull from the crystal deck and the four agreements to let this energy go. But yeah, you have to be the one to evolve in a situation where it's toxic, you know, where it's toxic. And, you know, again, you need to end. The death card came out three times, actually. And that's just letting you know that uh, you, yeah, the connections are here. But it says community. Make a community contri contribution. It says uh, standing up for the rights of others, deeply caring for social issues. This is what you are loving about your new energies or whatever and it's the community it's the people who really appreciate you who love you and adore you and will be able to you know you might be compatible with you might find the new love in the community that you're starting to go around but it says connections fostering meaningful relationships you thrive through your connections living life with an open hand and so that is what the universe is telling you to focus on your community, focus on the people who like to do the things that you like to do, and you will get there eventually. You have the key to be able to do things, but if you're not able to communicate and you have to set boundaries with, well, first of all, you have to set boundaries with everyone, but if it's toxic energies then and you feel some type of way, well, you can't underestimate yourself. You have to be able to uh, end things that, and that make you feel insecure. So you're not gonna go into a community of one that you just left. Or be around people of the same energy that you just left you're going to be able to move forward if that makes sense so the connections that you make moving forward are going to be compatible with your chart and there's not going to be any regrets or any mistakes that you made it's just that you're going to know that toxicity thrives in certain types of energies and communities and you don't want that when it comes to new love so i'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then the zebra jasper and then the four agreements all right, don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. And that's where the communication and the boundaries come in at. And the inner wounds, being able to talk about what has happened in the past or, or be able to understand why the past happened and what you learned from it. So it says it's, it, it is always better. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make an assumption because you know the truth. And that's where the synchronicities come in at. And that's when you learn to um, evaluate your values, your morals and values from the situation. But the zebra jasper um, is your root chakra and your crown ch chakra. That feeling that you have in your stomach to be able to balance and um, and to be stable. So it's optimism, st stability, and balance is the root and the crown chakra. It says, uh, my energies are balanced and united. And that's all you want is to have balanced energies and to be able to, and that's where this is at the bottom of the deck, the balanced energies, and to be able to be balanced in a situation where you have to live in the present moment and also pull your energy back sometimes about relationships and growth and having a realization of, what causes you to overthink twin flame energies, you know, the polar opposites energy, you know, no, balance again and completement uh, is what you want and not having to, um, you know, have and keep starting over every time like nothing ever happened because you're tired of the drama. And again, you're having this breakthrough and being able to focus on your visions. But again, the old flames and light relighting the old flames and being dedicated to this old type of flames and the experiences history it's just like it's gonna be the same outcome until you learn from that somebody being caught red-handed or the red flags or some type of surprise but you have to be open to receive because you are exactly where you need to be you're growing as the butterfly you understand where the laziness or the stagnation comes in at and you understand what's causing you uh to be to be stagnant and to um you know have to know that time is ticking you're only getting older and so that's kind of how i see that energy so i think we should go ahead and just let this old energy go because we've learned where the past uh wh where we were in the past and we're looking in the present moment and knowing that our future will be bright if we learn these these key things so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness 
generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.